Welcome back guys to Code Online. In this video I have brought you one of the most interesting topic in Laravel that is upload multiple images or files in Laravel. So uh, many in many of your projects you always have to upload multiple files or images. So considering that I'm making a new video where you can see how to upload multiple files or images very easily. So let's go to the code so I've already set up a new installation of Laravel <coughs> so we can now start making controller so from terminal I'll make one controller PHP artisan make controller so since I'm using Laravel thin it will give me option to enter the controller name when I do command like PHP addition make controller so the control name will be upload controller upload controller and it will be empty alright so here we will say upload controller and why it is not suggesting me file name let's see if there is controller or not so yeah it has made me controller okay controller and let's access the form first okay so we'll make index method <coughs> sorry so I'll make public function index and I'll return a view simply return view upload so let's make that view very quickly uh, in views I'll add a new file and name it upload.blade.php so over here I'll write HTML load image actually multiple I'll make a form let's for now give route upload files now over here we can give method to post and also have our csf token here so i'll just say input input type file name will be files and it will be added because we can have multiple files and don't ever forget one thing to provide in type multi-part form data while you are uploading multiple files sorry whenever you are uploading file or image and type of okay in type multi-part form data Alright, that's it. Now let's make a submit button. Button. Type equal to submit. So I I am not uh, designing anything special over here. Just I want to show you some functionality. So let's access this form. So it might give us error that the route is not found. But let's see. Sorry. So yeah upload files not defined so let's define that route <coughs> so whenever upload we upload we will send the data to post method let it be slash and we'll say upload controller class stored method which we haven't made yet so the name will be stored files so let's make uh, this store functionality so let's go over here <coughs> and we'll say public function store request dollar request since we will be using request to get file now after we submit file we want to see the request all so let's see what form form give us okay so let's see here here is our form I want to keep it uh, over here in the middle 
so let's go to the form and let's give a simple design margin left sorry margin left will be 500 pixels margin margin top will be 350 pixels let's do it okay it's fine for now choose file so it is saying choose file because we haven't uh, written multiple if we add multiple it would have some choose files not file so you can see here yeah? so I can choose multiple files so let's download some of the images uh, I will say moon images <coughs> let me quickly download few images save image in downloads yeah and again I will say galaxy let's have this Milky Way galaxy okay so let's upload these two images right now okay for sake of uh, your happiness I will do three actually yeah this is fine all right so let's go to our form now we can choose three images from our downloads so which is which sun this uh, sorry this this okay so I have three files I'll submit it so you can see in the request there are three files since I have uh, die and dump there you can see so I can do request files to get all the files so you can see there is files over there in parameter so request I can also choose, I also do request file files okay so I have three files actually so since we have multiple files, we'll loop over all of them so how we can do that is I will do for each request files file as dollar file single file so let's do die and dump and it must give us our first file in the first loop okay so we are going to save this so in every loop we are getting unique files so we are going to uh, save those files so let me save it okay so image name will be image name will be dollar file get original file get client original name it will give us the file name let's see what is the first image file name so download the jpg since uh, we can upload download the jpg multiple time in the same folder so we'll keep we'll try to make it unique so how we can make it unique is unique let's do unique image name is equals to will con can concatenate it with time because every time the time is you know unique so uh, with each second it, it gets unique also we can do rand which will give us a random number from 99 to 9999 okay dot dollar file name sorry image name we can do the same for image too so and we'll die them the unique image name uh, till now we haven't uploaded or saved our file so we are just trying to make the file name unique okay so this seems to be unique all right so now we can save this in uh, and the file name will be like this okay so what we can do to save image is dollar uh, we can use storage facade storage put 
dollar unique miss name so let's see what does put take put take a uh, few things like path content and any other things okay so first parameter will be the path so I'll give slash images so let's see where does it saves so in images we're so saving this okay so let's just do for first and then dump so let's see seems like it has uploaded let's see where it is I think it is in our storage folder stories are public mm, no here it is but it has just saved in some text file so I know how does it work so for now we can just do what we can do is so we haven't got the file name okay so we haven't uh, got the file name so give me a second alright guys uh, I'm back again so we can what we can do is uh, put file as so uh, put the file in images and the file is so it takes file so our file is this dollar file but we'll put this as uh, name as unique file name so that's it so let's see well let's, let's reload so it's it's saying unable to create directory in storage so let's give permission uh, ch mode let's do sudo ch mode dash r777 for now and storage yeah so let's try it again mm, okay still it it says the same error okay so let's do public slash images so yeah so let's see is there our file over there in images directly there is unique file okay so there it is so I will remove this okay and and return back so whenever we upload it it will be in the same page we can also use uh, toaster and we can also save the file you know you, we can save your like product we can do like uh, you know we can use this unique image name to save in the product like product update image name is the unique name if you if you do it correctly okay so you can do like that but now for now we'll see whether all of our three files get uploaded or not so you can see the page has returned back so we can also see uh, there must be four files here so you can see sun and other files so that's it guys you can you can upload files or images pdfs whatever you want to upload and store it here so we can also make sim link let's make a sim link of storage in our public so right now you can uh, see in public uh, that there is nothing no folder but we will try to uh, have our stories uh, over here so how we can do that we can just run this partition make sorry storage link and this will make a symbolic link in our public slash stories so here it is you can see this symbolic link all right so if we open this as folder then you can see in public this is the sim link okay so you can see those images over here so that's it guys thank you uh, i hope you'll subscribe my channel like it and share it uh, i will try to bring more content like this thank you